And in regards to women voting, you know, that was the worst thing that ever happened to America, too. Look at us now. Women overwhelmingly vote um, on their emotions. And their emotions, and the liberals are very good at appealing to emotions. Oh, look at these migrant children, they have nowhere to go. Look at these, uh, this pregnant migrant woman, she has nowhere to go. We have got to open up our borders and give her cash assistance for the rest of her life here in America. And women vote for that. They vote to have uh, uh, weapons taken away, our second amendment rights taken away. Women used to vote, uh, they used to not vote because their husband would make the choice for them. Now, if just our husbands and landowners were voting, we'd be in a much better place than we are now. We'd have closed borders, we'd have uh, no infringements on our second amendment rights, red flag laws would be a thing of the past. And uh, we as women wouldn't be, you know, have such authority and power over who gets into elected office because we don't deserve it. The way that women vote, it's been terrible. I'm apologizing as a female voter for the rest of my fellow female voters because they are voting our country away. And it is extremely dangerous. Whoa, all right, let's put the picture up full mass here. This screenshot tells the story. You're looking at Lauren Witzke made the statement last Thursday during an appearance on the show slightly offensive. Now, he looks as if obviously he doesn't like women voting. She does not want women to vote. And this is a semi emerging theme inside of the conservative ranks only, only, okay? When the red wave that may have brought this sweep of Republicans into power. When that was the issue, um, people said, "Oh, you know, there's a fault here." When it never happened, they wanted to blame somebody. Uh, so when the red wave that many thought would sweep Republicans to power across the nation in the midterm elections failed to materialize, right-wing activists immediately began looking for someone to put blame on. One target of right-wing outrage has been young women who voted overwhelmingly for Democrats in the recent elections. Well, let me tell you what really happened here. Um, while you wanna take the right away from women to vote, realize why you all did so poorly. Because really, you probably would have done better if it had not been for some legislative battles Republicans decided to take, contrary to the advice of other Republicans. But I digress, the reality is we should vote our values, policies. We should vote for the best expression of what we believe in, what our communities stand for. No politician will personify that holistically, but we should vote for those that personified more so than not. So just because somebody makes a decision that's contrary to what you represent, contrary to your values, does not mean you should violate their rights. I thought you all liked the Constitution. Remember, it is the US Constitution that grants us all, women and black people, the right to vote. It protects that right codified in the Constitution. So when you say things like this, madam, I expect you do not like the Constitution, which means you're likely lawless at your core, willing to violate the tenets of basic statutory rules. There's more. Um, these results prompted. Lauren Witzke, a Russia loving white nationalist and conspiracy theorist, who was the Delaware Republican Party's nominee for the US Senate in 2020, to declare that giving women the right to vote in 1920 was the worst thing that ever happened to America. Now, think about the hypocrisy of this. She becomes the nominee largely because of women. She seeks the vote of everybody, including women. She does not win the general election. And now today, a couple of years later, she's blaming women saying they do not have the right to vote or should not have the right to vote. Well, madam, you do realize that if you do not have the right to vote, you don't, you don't have the right to run for office either, which you did run for office because you have that right to do so. Uh, fun fact, she's one of the few women in the white nationalist America first movement, whose leading activists are known for misogyny in addition to their white nationalist and Christian nationalist views. Well, here we go, the plot thickens. Jordan thoughts here. 
I mean, she is like the quintessential pick me. She's just trying to appeal to this dominionist Christian white nationalist male archetype saying, oh, the worst thing to ever happen in this country was women voting. I could think of something worse. It's not it's not hard to think of other things that are That's worse. Right. That is absurd. Like that is I, I just don't understand why people and especially conservative women agree with this misogynistic worldview that women shouldn't have a voice. Shouldn't be able to participate in society or in politics, especially after how hard the suffragettes fought for their voting rights. Like this, they were like tortured. I, I just I don't get it. But like you say, they're looking for a scapegoat, and they can't just admit to themselves that hey, maybe screeching at people for two years about trans people, and litter boxes in the bathroom that don't actually exist, and critical race theory in elementary schools. Maybe that's not a viable. Electoral strategy. No, they can't admit that. They want to keep doing that because for them, politics is about who they hate and who they can inflict the most pain upon. That's how they want to motivate their base going forward because it's easy and it makes them feel good. Yeah, and they, they don't have to think. That. So that's right. What's that? They don't have to think. They don't have to come up with solutions. They don't have to stand behind a policy dynamic. It's easy for them. Yeah. yeah, they're not running on pe- things that address people's material needs. Look, right. The House just got the majority back, and the first thing they're doing is saying Hunter Biden's laptop is a top priority. We're going right. to investigate Hunter Biden's laptop. Who does that help? Who cares? He's not the president. He has no power. Who cares? Yeah. All right. We will obviously track this now uh, because anytime we we've, we've seen something like this, somebody else picks up on it and they run with it too. It's a very dangerous message. We will fight it every step of the way.